game going so that they can now just match up pitcher with batter. And that's what we did. And and it just it's, it feels good, man. I I, I, I feel good for, for all those guys. In two particular, I feel for Kershaw and the skipper Dave Roberts. I, I, I just really do. I think that when Kershaw was dealing and pitching, especially in the fifth game, um, that was just a magical moment for him. And at, at that point I just it was it was destined for the Dodgers to win. And then last night, having Mookie Betts be a part of this team and just having the energy that he brings to the table is just unbelievable. I mean, it's it was it's almost like not necessarily the player, but just his energy. Not the bat, not the defense, not the running of the bases, just his energy, his smile, all of the things that will make and energize a team. Jay, let me just say one thing about Dave Roberts. Fifth year on the job in battle. There are now three managers to win a World Series with the Dodgers. Mm. Two of them are in the Hall of Fame. Tommy Lasorda, and this goes in the Wayback Machine, a guy named Walter Alston, two of the most legendary skippers in the history of baseball, and a guy that two weeks ago (laughs) was sitting on the hot seat is now in company with two of the greatest managers of all time. What a difference six games and five years for Dave Roberts. You know, was was he really on the hot seat or was he really, or was it frustrating? Right, it's it's it's. Well, it's, I would just feel like a combination you. of both because you had him on the hot seat if they didn't get this done. Well, but was he really on the hot seat? Was they were they really? You know, I guess so. If he if he'd have lost, they probably it would have got loud, right? It was it would have got loud. But the fact of the matter is, he didn't lose. He did exactly what I'm sure he envisioned to do, which was pitch guys the way that he pitched them and uh, get out of there with a W. I, I, <laughs> It was best team in baseball all year long. Zubin, let me be classy. Congratulations to the Dodgers. Really happy for Dave Roberts. Really happy for Mookie Betts. Uh, love watching this team play. And in a very abnormal year, I'm glad something normal came out. The best team won the World Series. Now let me be a little bit trashy. Go for it. I despise analytics. Kevin Cash, what... Did you do? You lost the game at the bottom of the six. Blake Snell was playing a tremendous game. A tremendous game. He had struck out nine players. He allowed one hit. You had a 1-0 lead. I heard Carl Ravage talk about it this morning. Between Betts, Seaver, and Turner, they were 0 for 6. Six strikeouts. Now, I know it's one of the rules in the Rays commandments that you don't let a pitcher see a batter for the third time. And you go to your bullpen with Nick Anderson. But it, it, retrospectively, looking back on this, Nick Anderson threw a wild pitch. The game got tied. The game just got out of hand. It got out of hand. Yes, I understand the Rays way got them there. But it felt like Kevin Cash lost his ability to read a room, to feel the game. Be Yoda. Put your hand out there. Use the force. Know that Blake Snell was playing a hell of a game. You take him out, and then you lose the game in this fashion. Once again, congratulations to the Dodgers. But if you're Kevin Cash this morning, you're waking up saying, damn, what did I do? I didn't feel the game. That's where I go. Analytics will get in the way sometimes, but I think when you look at it, from Kevin Cash's standpoint, his eyes also kind of got in the way. Even though the Dodgers may have not been getting uh, hits off of Snell, and maybe in those six innings prior, he fanned nine guys. It's fine. But when the ball starts to hit the bat and you start hearing the pop, and that, that tells you things are slowing down for the pitcher because now they're connecting. May not be They may not be... Uh, hitting it out of the park or, or or driving it in between the gaps, but they're connecting. But Keaton, and at some point, one of those connects is going to go yard. Mookie Betts struggled against this lefty. So I guess my question is... Yeah, but when you start when you start but, hitting the ball and now all of a sudden it's at Betts the warning the track or all of a sudden, you know, it's a hot line drive and the guy has to make a, a hell of a catch to get to it, all of those sort of things start to happen. Now... The manager is looking at the pitching coach, and they're saying to themselves, okay, things are slowing down. He's not clocking at the same mile per hour right now. He's, what is his pitch count? All of those sort of things. Because if you keep him there, now the chances are he gets rocked opposed to somebody else. So it's kind of like 
damned if you do, damned if you don't when you get to a certain but, moment. But when do you have to trust it? Game six, when do you have to put in trust in the guy that is an AL, AL Cy Young winner? Like, when do you... So I, I, I guess, and also the, caught, I would ask this question too as well. You get as as a batter, I, I, I don't know this, but I do know it as in basketball. If I were to see a defense that caught me off guard two times and I didn't figure it out, the third time, I'm still a little bit unsure if I can figure out the defense. I don't come up to the plate and say, oh, this guy struck me out twice. I got to figure it out now the third time. I got to figure it out. Well, if anything, I, look at Mookie Betts when he got on first base. He was smiling talking to the first base coach, and pretty much it gave you the feeling. He was like, it was a sigh of relief. Like, I can't believe they took out, I can't believe they took out Snell. I can't believe they took him out. Well, I, I can believe they took him out, though. Well, I think right now, since we're grilling him like a filet that Key would grill on his uh, backyard deck, Kevin Cash here, we do have to let the skipper have his say. He understands the frustration and the questioning of his move, for sure, but he was confident in what he did. Lineups the Dodgers feature is as potent as any team in the league. Personally, I felt Blake had done his job and then some. Mookie coming around for the third time through. I value that. I totally respect and understand the, the questions that come with it. Blake gave us every opportunity to win. He was outstanding. They're not easy decisions. And that's where I came to the decision. I felt it was best after the guy got on base. Barnes hit the single. Didn't want Mookie seeing Mookie or Seager seeing Blake. A third time. As Jay referenced, that third time, the Rays pitchers don't want to see hitters a third time. Blake won nothing after five. He had the lead, got the first out of the six. You heard Cash mention there the Austin Barnes single. Then comes pitch number 73. He's out. Nick Anderson is in. After the game, the old Mets ace, Noah Syndergaard, said, tongue-in-cheek, when do we get to pull the manager, voicing his discussion? I, I, I get it. I, I, but, but, but Bar like I said, they started connecting. Now, all of a sudden, Barnes hits him. Now, all of a sudden, you got bets come. You know, it's just like now it becomes a snowball effect. If, if, if Barnes hits him in the third inning, you don't worry about that. But when you start getting into the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and all of a sudden, his pitch count was cut relatively low. His pitch count was around 73 pitches or so. Um, but that's, that's the thing that you have to, as a manager, you have to guard against is when to take him out. Like, you it, Dave Roberts go through it all the time. That, that, I mean, it's it's one of those deals. You leave him in too long, or you take him out too early. It's fine that Kevin Cash said that in the post game, but anybody who knows sports knows that Kevin Cash is waking up this morning, and that's a decision that he's going to have to talk well, about. Well, I don't give a damn. The entire we won. off season. The entire off season. <laughs> I don't give a damn. We It'll won. be questions he's answering. I'll give you one great stat to.